Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back. So for today's video, we're going to be doing another Monster High ranking, this time of all of the Caddy Noir dolls. Before I can get into that though, I do have a couple of quick things that I have to say. First of all, thank you guys for being patient with me for missing a video. I have been sick. I don't know why I've been sick so much lately, but it is very, very frustrating and I really thought I was getting better and then I aggressively was not getting better. <laughs> so I'm hoping now I'm actually okay. I'm definitely feeling more like myself. So we're gonna try to get through this. I think I'm gonna be fine, but if I sound a little soft or a little weird, or if I like look a little bit off, that's probably wise because I'm still healing up. I just don't have a super immune system. So, you know, we're coping. Um, but the other thing is that while I was sick, this channel actually hit 4,000 subscribers, which is just insane to me. I feel like it hasn't been that long since I thanked you guys for getting me to 3,000 subs and I just feel so obviously happy but it also feels so surreal that so many people actually want to look at what I make and I say this literally every time we hit a milestone on this channel but when you take it out of like the internet context because the internet has inflated numbers for us right where it's like oh yeah a million subs like that happens to people especially on like short form content platforms like TikTok it's not that unusual to have hundreds of thousands or even millions of subscribers. So the internet has kind of made it seem like 4,000 is a small number, if that makes sense. But to me, I'm like, that's so many people. <laughs> like that is so many people. And so the idea that there are so many of you who wanted to watch my videos and who wanted to be part of this channel and this community is amazing. So thank you. Um, I like, it sounds so hollow, I feel like, but I really, really do appreciate the support. So I hope that you will continue to enjoy what I'm putting out now that I'm actually putting out content this year. Um, but yeah, I just, I wanted to include that. So thank you guys. But back to the actual video. If you haven't seen my Monster High rankings before, this is where I take a character from Gen 1 and Gen 2 of Monster High. I look at all of the dolls that were produced for that character, and I give them a ranking based on my own opinion. If your opinion does differ, that is a-okay. I would love to hear your rankings in the comments below. And as with the last few, this one's going to be a shorter one. The next several are going to be kind of shorter, but I hope you guys can enjoy it anyway. If you do find yourself enjoying as we go along, if you could give it a like, that'd be really cool. And if you aren't already subscribed, if you want to keep the growth going that would be really awesome if you like what you see so let's go ahead let's start ranking caddy so for those of you who are unfamiliar i do all of my rankings in procreate and the tiers that i have are perfect good and good but not for me that's a category for dolls that i can objectively say have a good design but i just don't personally like them mediocre bad but it gets worse and then burn it and because i have poor organizational skills i do have a few different caddies in each layer so i'm sorry if that's irritating to you but we're going to start off here. We have got three. I know we have the Geek Shriek, the Ghoul Liberties and Lundoom from a three pack. And then I believe that was New Scaremaster. I have to check my name on here. Or it's just not going to tell me. That's fine. I'm almost certain that's New Scaremaster Caddy. Anyway, though, starting from left to right with Geek Shriek, we are not starting off super strong. I don't love this one. I get the idea of like cat eye glasses on a cat doll. That's like funny. So I think that that's kind of cute, even though I personally don't really like the aesthetic. I think it's a cute idea. But mostly I just don't really see Caddy in this outfit. I think the Geek Shriek was kind of hard because obviously the whole line was like supposed to make geekier dolls, which is, I don't know, all of them had glasses, which is kind of a weird stereotype anyway. But I think that it did take a lot of the personality of the actual characters away. I'm just not really a fan of this one. I think I'm going to put her in mediocre because honestly, she's not like terrible, but I just personally am not a huge fan. Then we've got the Ghoul Liberties and Lundoom Caddy. This is actually my least favorite doll from this three pack. I had the three pack and I sold Caddy. I kept the other two because I like those two a lot better. I just don't think I like, I don't know if it's like the colors. I don't know what it is. I get what they're going for with the dress and like the shattered glass because that's a thing with Caddy, but I'm just not feeling it. I don't know what it is about this doll, but I think I'm also going to put her in mediocre. She's honestly like a lot prettier in the stock photo <laughs> than she was in person, which sounds so mean to say, but genuinely she just is not, not my favorite. New Scaremaster is better though. We're finally onto a better one here. She's not my favorite Caddy, but I do love a lot of aspects about her. I think that the like dress or tunic, I guess it's more of a tunic that she has on. I think that's really cute. I love this bag that she has. I think that that's an adorable little mold. The gloves, even though they are molded on gloves, you know, like I still really think that that's a cute look for her. Definitely not my favorite. I think the like leggings is what's throwing me off. I think if she didn't have 
the leggings, it would make me feel better if it was like more of just a dress and maybe some like socks. But I still think this is pretty solid, especially when compared to the other two. So that one's going to go into good. Then on the next layer, we have the original Caddy and Fierce Rockers. And I mean, how can I not rate the original Caddy as perfect? This is always a trend in these videos that I tend to rate the like first release of a character as perfect. But I just genuinely like those releases so much. I think the first is usually one of the best. I love this so much. The dress was so beautiful and iconic. I don't know if you can actually see Caddy on my shelf down here, but I do have her down there. She's just so cool looking. Everything about her is so awesome. She has to go in perfect. Then Fierce Rockers. I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion, because I feel like most of the time Fierce Rockers is not regarded as like the best Monster High line, and I don't like all of the dolls from it, but this caddy is amazing. I love this so much. The hints of blue with the shoe and the streaks in her hair are amazing. The makeup with the shattered glass on the one eye and the silver lip is so beautiful. I love this like one-legged jumpsuit that she's got going on with all of the straps. Like everything about this is so like high fashion to me and so glam and just so stunning <laughs> like it's such an eye catcher you can probably already guess that it's gonna go in perfect i love that doll i would love to own this doll at one point don't have her but hopefully someday and then the last two we have got two different new york caddies so wow this is harder <laughs> like whenever they have two different versions or like variations on technically one line it's so hard to me because then I'm like, which one out of the two is better? And I think definitely this one is my favorite out of the two. I like the blue less in this one, weirdly. I don't know why. But I do like the kind of crystalline ears and the, like, chest piece that she's got. I do wish it were a little bit more reminiscent of the broken glass instead of crystals. Just because I think it would read a little bit more catty. But it still is really pretty. The shoes aren't bad, but honestly, they're not super stunning. Like, we've definitely seen better Monster High shoes. This dress underneath here, though, I've never seen this caddy in person. But it looks like it's, like, kind of reflective, and I do love that. The bag is very cute. I'm convincing myself into this doll. I cannot give her a perfect score, but I am going to put her in good. This one, though, I just like a lot less. I think none of it is reading Caddy to me. I My last Monster High ranking that I did was for Katrine, and I kept messing up and calling Katrine Caddy. But it's funny because I feel like this outfit, in like a different color scheme, obviously, would be more suited to Katrine than it is to Caddy. Like, it just doesn't look like her at all to me. The shoes are probably the, like, caddy ist part. I just don't like it. Like, the fabric on her jacket is the same as that other dress but it just doesn't look as good uh but is it is this something that other people like that's always the question like does it go in good but not for me or bad but it gets worse do i hate it or is it okay <laughs> um no i think i'm gonna put it in bad but it gets worse i really aggressively dislike the print on that dress so sorry caddy but that is going to be it. Like I said, I know it's a short one. I know a lot of these are going to be short ones. But this is just like the way that it makes most sense and it's easiest for me to do. So I'm sorry if the short ones are kind of irritating for you. But this is the ranking for Caddy. Not the worst. Not terrible. Um, definitely not the best. But, you know, she seems to have, at least in my opinion, like a very good or bad type spread. Like I either really like the dolls or I'm not at all a fan but it is what it is. Like I said, I would love to hear what your rankings would be. I'm very curious if you guys have a similar type of spread as I do. So yes, that is going to be it for today's video. I have to say, looking at these Caddy dolls, I'm very curious now about whether she will come back for G3 and if she does, what that will look like. I'm going to make a fool of myself if she has like already been in the cartoon and I just haven't seen it because I haven't seen the cartoon. <laughs> That'd be so funny. But um, Hopefully, I'm not just completely out of the loop and she hasn't made an appearance yet. But yeah, I hope she does at some point. I would love to see what Caddy looks like in the new generation. So very curious about that. But I do hope that you guys enjoy the video. As I said before, if you could give it a like if you did, that'd be really cool. But yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.